<sighs> Median? Median? <sighs> Looks like it's another beautiful day. Matt, I'm sleeping. I know. <laughs> there you go. Matt, no. It's been a long time, you know. <sighs> I said no. I'm not in the mood. Well, when will you be in the mood? I don't know. Not now. <sighs> it's first thing in the morning. You've hardly let me come near you in weeks, Lillian. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not 21 anymore. Sex isn't always what I want. I'm not talking about sex. Really? I'm talking about you and me. You're so... distant. It's like you're only half here. We might just as well have stayed in Ambridge. Well, we're only here until tomorrow. You just caught me at the wrong time. Hey, where are you going? To the bathroom. It's time for breakfast. Are you sure you don't want anything else? No. I, I must still be full from last night. Right. Well. What do you think we should do today? We still haven't been to that island you were talking about. No. Oh, Lady of the Rocks, is that what it's called? Is it? Well, I don't know. You were the one spouting facts and figures from the guidebook. <sighs> yeah. Uh, it's not a real island. It's made from rocks and scuppered ships. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I don't mind. Well, it's up to you. I'm happy just to have a relaxing day. Uh, honestly, you, you decide. Or we could just stay here, you know, sit around in the hotel not talking to each other. I don't know. Um, look, I, I suppose I do need to do some shopping. Shopping? I ought to take back a few souvenirs for the family. Well, we don't have to do that today. Well, we're leaving tomorrow, man. I'm booked into the spa in the morning. Right, OK, so we're wandering to town then. Fine. Get your folks sorted out with presents. Yeah. And then... Maybe a spot of lunch down by the marina. I mean, we ought to make the most of it while we're still here. Yeah, I agree. So what do you think? Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Absolutely, Matt. Sounds lovely. Mum sorted. Let's hope she likes pomegranate syrup. So who else is there? We're still looking for Jenny. But never mind that. Let's just forget it. What? You're clearly hating every minute of this. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'll just get her a purse or something. Oh, come on. Don't give up now. Honestly. Well, how about some jewellery then? Look, look at this place here. Jenny's got plenty of jewellery. All right. Well, how about for you then? Me? Yeah, let me treat you. I don't need anything either. Well, at least have a look. Oh. Look, they've got some lovely stuff. Huh? Yeah, well, what about that uh, that necklace? Beautiful, isn't it? Don't you think? Yes, it's very nice. Now let's just carry on. What's the matter? You've never turned me down before. Please, Matt, just come on. Hello. You would like to see the jewellery? Um, English, yes? Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, we're just browsing. Come inside, I will show no, you. No, re really? No, actually, you did like that necklace, didn't you, Lillian? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one at the back. Ah, oh, yes, very nice. This is excellent quality, 22 carat gold. Can we just go, please? See, I told you. How much? I don't need it. But I want to. This necklace is 600 euros. Oh. Your wife has good taste. Yeah, don't she just? <laughs> Mine too. Hey, what is that? But we uh, must keep them happy, yes? Matt, look, this is silly. What about four? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Matt, like a... don't haggle. Well, what's the best you can do? 600. This is the price. Uh, 450? 550, so you don't lose your beautiful wife. Uh, five to five and you've got a deal, yeah? All right, yes. OK. Excellent. Happy now, Lillian. Lillian! Lillian! Beautiful, isn't it? Hmm? Are, are you speaking to me? Sorry, I, I shouldn't have disturbed you. Were you praying? 
No, no. Oh, I was just saying how beautiful it is. Yes, it's, it's very... So many icons. I know. Not something that I'm used to. No, me neither. I was brought up good old C of E. Me too. Although, you can see why people are so devoted to them. There's something so otherworldly. I, I suppose that's the point, really. Yeah. A glimpse into a place beyond this life, where everything is better and brighter. And eternal. Actually, I find them very soothing. Hmm. Oh. Oh, listen to me. No. Not at all. Are you on holiday? In a way. My daughter's married to a Serb. Oh, right. What about you? It's my first time in a Montenegro. How are you finding it? To be honest, I don't feel I've been taking it in. I suppose it's not somewhere I would have come to if it hadn't been for my daughter. But then I never dreamt I'd have Montenegrin grandchildren either. You just never know where life's going to take you, do you? You most certainly don't. Look, um, I'll leave you to it. Mm? I can see you're having a moment to yourself. No, please, if you want to stay. Honestly, it's nice to be able to actually talk to someone. Hello, you've reached Lillian Bellamy. Unfortunately, I'm not available. If you call us regarding Amside Property Development, please call the office on 01632295637. Otherwise, leave a message and I'll get back to you. Lillian, will you please call? I've been all over the place looking for you. Um, listen, I'm going to wait by the shop where I last saw you. If you're not here by one, then I'll... Um, uh, well, please just call me. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Sir, sir, sir. What, you found her? No, but I asked my friend in the restaurant. He thinks he saw your wife go that way. Which? This way? Yes, but sir, yes, when you find her, come back for your necklace, okay? I give you good price. lost someone very close to me recently. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pried. It's fine. It's... I've not been able to talk about him much. I was in love with him. Right. Deeply. He was the most wonderful kind-hearted man I'd ever met. And then, one day, he was gone. He had a heart attack. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. He... He changed everything. And I don't know how to bear a world with him not in it. Oh, what a mess. I'm so sorry. This isn't what you wanted to hear. It sounds as if you needed to let it out. I feel like I've been in a trance. Mm. I thought that maybe coming away on holiday would help, but instead I just feel even more on my own. Well, perhaps that's what's brought you here. Yes. Although I really shouldn't stay here any longer. Would you like to go and get a drink or something? No, no, no. Are you sure? Yes, I I'll be fine. You've already been kind enough. No, it it's no bother. Grief's 
a terrible thing. Yes. Especially if you've got no one to share it with. I hope you find the peace you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, look where you're going, pal. Lillian, Lillian, over here. Matt. There you are. What the hell do you think you're doing? Where have you been? I was in the church. Church? I just needed to get away for a while. Well, why didn't you say? Didn't you think I'd be worried? you found me now. Let's just carry on with the shopping. Lillian. We still need to find something for Jenny. Have you been crying? No. Yeah, I've had you. Why would I be crying? Well, you tell me. Look, come on. I'm serious, Lillian. What? Tell me. Matt. I'm not an idiot. No, I know you're I not. I can see you're upset. But I'm feeling much better now. And you wouldn't just vanish into thin air. I know how unhappy you are, Lillian. I just need you to say it. I can't. Oh. If there's nothing to say. Why don't we get Jenny that purse? Oh. What do you think? Do what you like. I can't be bothered anymore. Matt. It's pointless us even being here. Well, where are you going, Matt? Don't just walk off, Matt. Wait. I don't know what you plan to do, but I'm going down the bar. Matt. I just need to change my shirt. Look, I'm sorry. I haven't meant to be so distant. Lillian, seriously, I don't care anymore. <sighs> I've done my best. I know. I'll try to make this a special holiday. It's not your fault. But if you want to throw it back in my face... Of course I don't. Oh, Matt. What? What, Lillian? Come on. But all right, you don't have to shout. What else am I supposed to do? All I want is my old Lillian back. Oh. Is that too much to ask? Yes! Maybe it is. It's always about what you want, isn't it? You are. You never think about me or what I might be going through. Oh, don't I? You don't give a damn. Right, forget it. I can't always be what you want me to be. And I've always stood by you through jail, through everything. Oh, right, so it is my fault. No, I'm just... Why can't you do the same for me? Lillian, you have no idea what I'd do for you. I'm sorry. Not a clue. What do you mean? Do you even love me at all? Of course I love you, Matt. How could you ask me that? How? After the way you've belittled me? Belittled? And I'm the liar? I'm the bad one? Matt. I'd never betray us the way you have. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, for God's sake, Lillian. Stop lying. I know. I know you were sleeping with Paul. I know you were screwing my brother. All right? Here, whiskey, please. No, 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 the single malt. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And not so much ice. You know your whiskey? Huh? I love them too. Last year for my birthday, I buy a very rare whiskey. $3,000. I drink it all in one night. A good for you, pal. The most expensive headache I've ever had. Well, you get what you pay for, don't you? Stick it on room 420. Yeah, cheers. English, right? What's bringing you here? Look, if you don't mind. Business or pleasure? It's certainly not pleasure, I can tell you that. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind. Of course. Bottoms up. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Blimey. Who was that? Go on, oh, some rich idiot. Whiskey? Yeah, what about it? Nothing. It's a bit early, isn't it? You know what, Lillian? Just for today, I think I'm going to do what I like. I didn't mean... That if it... that's allowed... Of course it is. You can do what you want. I need to go for my spa treatment anyway. Fine. I'll only be about an hour. Are you going to stay out here? Seems pretty good to me. Right. You do know we need to leave for the airport around five. Yep. And we still need to pack. I know, Lillian. You going? Yes. Just checking. I'll, uh, I'll 
I'll see you back here. Yep. Okay, see ya. So, you're here on business. Huh? But what business is that? Um, now, let me guess. Actually, if you don't mind. Property, yes? Yeah, well, uh... Clever, hey. I'm in property too. Takes one to know one. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I heard you talking earlier. Uh, right. With your wife. No, no, not wife. She's, um... She's my business partner. Really? Mm. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't I thought... worry. You're not the only one to make that mistake. My name is Vitali. Vitali Kidrov. Matt Crawford. Pleased to meet you. Can I join you? Uh, so, what is your business in Tivat? Oh, you know, just getting the lie of the land. I, uh, I had a deal I was hoping to secure something I'd been working on for a while. I had a feeling it wouldn't work out and, uh, well, turns out I was right. Now I understand why you don't look so happy. Yeah, I'm flying back home this evening. You win some, you don't win some. <laughs> there are always other deals. There are indeed. Another drink? Oh. Luca, two more. Who's that? He's not a waiter, is he? No, he works for me. It is good to have someone who can speak the language. Yeah, I imagine it is. I can't make head nor tail of it. What do you mean? Oh, it just looks like a jumble of letters to me. <laughs> then you would not like Russian, I think. Is that where you're from? Yes. I must say, there's a lot of you about. My company is building a hotel in the business district here. Hotel? Right, really? And is that your area, hospitality? No, no. We have our fingers in many pies. Ah. Uh, is that right? I don't know, you tell me. I mean, what I say. <laughs> I like your English phrases. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Many pies, yeah, that's right. We have developments all over Russia, Kazakhstan, here, and of course London. All right, well, those are some pretty big pies. What about you? Me? Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm focused on the UK, residential property mainly. Yeah, I'm involved with a large luxury apartment complex at the moment. In London? No, Borsetshire. It's a county in the Midlands. It's where I live. Very, uh, very beautiful, very rural. Oh. We're converting an old Victorian paper mill, uh -huh. you know, into riverside flats. Very exclusive, very desirable. Very nice. And then aside from that, we opened a state-of-the-art agricultural market a little while ago. I see. You have a few pies also, then. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that, yeah. <laughs> well, here we are. And what is your company called? Um, Thanks, Luca. Amside. Good. Here's to Amside. Yeah, and to you. I would like to live in England. Really? You have so much history. Well, you've got a fair bit of history yourselves. Yes, but not all of it happy. Huh. You say you live in the country. Yeah, a place called Ambridge. We've... Um, I mean, I've got a large Georgian property on the edge of the village. Goes back to the 18th century. Wow. So I'm speaking to a real English gentleman. <laughs> Hardly. You're lucky, my friend. Yeah? <laughs> Still, I can't imagine you've got a raw deal of it. Where'd you spend most of your time? Moscow? St. Petersburg. Right. Yeah, well, it's a lovely city, so I hear. Yes. Oh, Matt, uh, I'm sorry, but I must go. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I have a meeting with my site manager. Sure, well, it was good meeting you. You too, Matt. Crawford. Yes, uh, unless, I mean, if you would like to see the site of the hotel. Oh, It uh, will not take long. You will find it interesting, I think. Uh, no, 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 no. I've, um, I've got things to do. Oh, do you need to speak to your partner? Who? The woman you are with. Oh, no, 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 She no, can no. come too. No, 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 that's not necessary. We don't do everything together. No, it's fine. I don't need to ask her. This is Matt Crawford. I can't answer the phone right now. Leave me a message or call my PA, Brenda Tucker, on 01632 295 637. Cheers. 
Matt, where are you? I finished having my treatment. You said you'd still be outside. Will you please call me? I'm going to stop packing. Please, just let me know you're all right. So, this is the lobby then. I have to say, when you said hotel, I wasn't expecting this. It's huge. Oh, yes. You've not pinched the pennies? No, no, we never pinch. A fountain will be here. All right. A chandelier up there. All right. It is coming from Venice. A special commission. What, Murano? You know it. Well, I've been there on holiday. So, you agree this is a good place to invest then? You've seen the marina. Well, all them yachts. <laughs> there are some whoppers there, aren't there? <laughs> whoppers. <laughs> yeah, big ones. Ah, uh, yes. And the biggest is mine. What, yours? Of course. In a few years' time, this whole coast, it will be the new Côte d'Azur. Everyone will be coming. Certainly everyone with money. Why not? It's good for Montenegro, it's good for me and you. Yeah, absolutely. It's good for all of us. Oh, it's the only reason I'm here. Oh, for pity's sake. Look, I'll, um, I'll turn this off. No, you must answer it. No, honestly, it's... Um, it's... I'll leave you in private. It's okay, this won't take very long. Hello, Lillian. <laughs> <sighs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Where are you? I went out for a while. Well, where to? Just out. Well, you could have told me. Well, you were in the spa. i been thinking all sorts of terrible things. Like what? I'm not going to throw myself off a bridge. Maybe not, but I... Th Never mind, I've reached you now. Please just come back to the hotel. And I will when I'm ready. We have to leave for the airport soon. No, not for another couple of hours. But I know, but we... I'll be back, OK? You will. Look, Lillian, I can't talk right now. But you promise you'll be back. I said so, didn't I? Look, I've got to go. Oh, hang on, Matt. <sighs> Problem? No, no, just business. That was my partner. Yeah, I'm not sure how much business we're going to be doing in the future. Really? So you're working alone? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I see. Because I have other projects I would like to discuss with you. With me? If you are interested, of course. Oh, get a grip, Lillian. It'll be fine. You just have to catch a later plane. There's no need to panic. Matt? Matt? Is that you? Matt? Who else is it going to be? All right. I told you I'd be back. Well, that was almost two and a half hours ago. I've been worried sick. All right, all right. I've packed your suitcase for you. Well, you shouldn't have bothered. Well, not bothered. What else was I supposed to do? We're going to miss our flight. I am, yeah. We have to leave now. Didn't you hear me, Lillian? I'm not coming. So, you'd better jump in that taxi, hadn't you? What? You can leave my case here. But, Matt, we... Well, go on. What are you talking about? You can't stay here. Why not? Because... That Russian guy at the bar turns out he's a property developer. A developer? Yeah, there's a chance he might throw me some business. But what guy? I'm going to see... What comes of it? Matt, this is madness. You're, you're not going into business with some Russian. Now pick up the suitcase. No. You have to come home. No. For God's no, sake, Matt. I don't. You're acting like a petulant child. Well, that's up to me, isn't it? Look, I understand if you want to punish me. He took me to this hotel. Matt, stop it. Massive place is building downtown. He's got property I said, all over stop the world. it, please. You know why you're doing this and you wouldn't be saying any of it if it wasn't... And so what if I am? I spent so long trying to cling on to what we had. I thought as soon as Paul... What? I thought that after Paul died, I wouldn't say anything. I'd give you the chance to then I'll just try to forgive you and eventually we get back to normal. Why can't you try to forgive me now? It's too late, Lillian. Why? Because... If you knew... Because I can't. All I asked was for you to be honest and you couldn't even give me that. Well, there's an opportunity here and I'm going to take it. It's my birthday. Oh, Monday. don't cry. Don't cry. It won't work. Like I say, you'd better take that taxi. You don't want to miss the plane. 
And what about Amside? What about it? It's your business. No, it's not. It still needs both of us. You're the director. You can't just turn your back on it now. It's our business. Look, it's our livelihood. It'll only be a week or so. If you carry on like it this... It can manage without it me. It can't, Matt. I can't. Oh! Oh, then maybe you should have thought of that before you slept with my brother. In fact... What? <sighs> Go on. You might as well say it. I wonder if it wasn't for Amside, you'd have shat up with Paul long ago. Oh, you know that's not true. Do I really? You obviously thought he had more going for him than me. Fine. Fine, I'll go then. I'll fly back on my own. I'll run Amside. I don't know what I'm going to tell everyone, but... Just tell them I'm staying for business. All right, then. You got everything? I think so. I made sure we were ready to dash. Right. Oh, um, hang on. What? I put your passport in my handbag. You will be needing it here. Thanks. Anything else? No. I, I do love you, Matt. I always have. Bye, then. Okay, bye.